what do you want your body to look like? When I do have conversations with folks about their their goals, their dreams for weight loss, I have to say, well, take me through, what's the dream here? If we get into our time machine and go ahead one year from today, everything else in your life is basically the same. Life is the same, but you've achieved the change in your body that you want. What is that? I have to hear back a reasonable goal. I'm guilty of this too. We cling to young us, young me, young you. We're clinging to the image of young us. Gosh, we were so pretty back then and we didn't even know it. We had no idea how good we had it. We had no idea. Oh, if I could go back in time. Yeah, I know. I know, but you can't. And remember, by the way, that even when you did look like that, you didn't think you looked good. Then we're like, oh, if only I could look the way I did when I was in my 20s or 30s when it was easier. Well, it was easier. You were younger. Clinging to the physical beauty that you had when you were younger is going to potentially serve up disappointment after disappointment after disappointment because aging bodies change. They, the skin texture changes. The way your skin looks and the way your skin holds you together, it's different. I'm not personally going to get a bunch of plastic surgery done, so I'm going to have to live with the skin I have here. My current skin is holding things in this shape, and that's because I'm 48. And what did I think was going to happen? What did I think my 48 year old body was going to look like? Maybe I'm like, overly reasonable. I had no false ideas that I was going to look at age 48 the way I did at 38 or definitely not 28. Uh, muscular changes. It's actually much harder to put on and preserve muscle as we age. That's biologically true. It's called sarcopenia, age-related muscle loss. And I think this, this speaks to um, lower resiliency. We just, we aren't in the active reproductive fighting sort of stage of life. We're in the relaxed sort of elder <laughs> stage of life and the body doesn't have as much of a biological need to build or preserve muscle. Now you might be thinking, I don't really care about building and preserving muscle. I want to be thin, which is something women really want. A lot of women don't really like the idea of being having muscles. But what I'm talking about is the shape of your body. When you had nice youthful muscle tone, even if you weren't lifting weights, you did have youthful muscle tone and then things looked better. Your body looked better because it was kind of, hang you know, your skin was hanging on these nice little taut muscles. By the way, just parenthetically, if you do want to change the shape of your body, that's the play. Muscle's the play. That's the one thing you can influence. You can't influence how your skin, what your skin's going to do. Well, unless you get money. But you can influence how the muscle under your skin looks, and that changes the relative shape of your body. So that's something that you have control over if you're up for it. It's harder to build and maintain muscle, but not impossible. I always use the analogy of walking up the down escalator. I'm just going to try to stay at this point. If I can preserve the muscle I have, I'm good. When you want to lose weight, you actually want to change the shape of your body. You'd like your body to look differently, which is how I kicked off this topic. What do you want to look like? And if you want to look like the way you looked when you were younger, I need you to actually adjust that expectation because it's not happening. I really a staunch proponent for kindness. Maybe the one thing none of us has tried is being really kind to our bodies and accepting and loving, respectful at the very least the one thing we haven't tried. So consider it a kindness to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm 48 now. And my expectations are well managed of what a 48 year old body should look like. Instead of, I don't look like I did when I was 38. This sucks. That's just the energy of that is so cruel and unnecessarily cruel. Your body's like, what the hell, man? <laughs> like, come on, give me a break. Now, acknowledging that we are bathed in beauty culture, so you see hot older women, that's all you're going to see on your social feeds is people who are like, I'm 57 and look at me, I've got, I've got abs. Of course, that's all you're going to see. You're not going to see I'm 57 and I have love handles. Like no one's posting that on Instagram. So you're not seeing that, right? I want to acknowledge that you're, you know, you, me, all of us, we are bathed in these unreasonable beauty ideals. Oh my God, don't get me started on that. I guess I get so bent out of shape on that. Because if, if women weren't programmed to try to just be hot all the time, we would have such a more respectful relationship with our body. And then you know what I think would happen? We would like our bodies better. And you know what I think would happen? I think our bodies would work better if they weren't always under the pressure, the constant pressure of dieting and body micromanagement. I think our bodies would work better. I want you to think about this because when you're thinking about weight loss, you're first of all, weight loss on the scale, who cares? Absolutely pointless throw away your scale. It, that number is so absolutely meaningless. I don't care how much you weigh. I don't care how much weight you want to lose. You can say, I'd like to lose 25 pounds. I'll say, oh, two pant sizes. Gotcha. Because I can do that math. Oh, you want to be this much smaller. Cool. I can picture that. We have to envision what you want it to look like. 
but it can't be an unreasonable expectation. You have to start adjusting your expectations to be more reasonable with the fact that you're getting older, not younger. You're not going to look the way you did because your skin is changing, your musculature is changing, and the way body fat is deposited on your body is changing. Where when you were younger, it was kind of an all over soft body fat that was nice. Now it's going to be deposited in different spots. This has to do with hormonal changes. It has to do with the way your skin has changed and the way your musculature has changed, right? We can't just get on the scale and fixate on that number. And we also just can't fixate on little individual parts of our body. Like, oh, now I have bra fat or now I have armpit fat. How can I get rid of this? I want you to just zoom out. Think about your body as a beautifully amazing, resiliently aging biological marvel and accept these the changes that are happening and then adjust your expectations on what you want to look like accordingly. Okay, before you can start on weight loss, you have to be clear about what you want to get. And that's probably some physical outcome. You might also have a health goal. Tell me if you've ever felt this way or if you've ever had this thought lately. Oh my God, I'm watching my older sister age. She's eight years older than me. Ah, I don't want to age like that. She's had a heart attack. She's diabetic or my mom or my aunts. I see how my grandparents age and I'm seeing how my parents age. And I don't want to age that way. Like, I know that that's not sexy to say, wow, I'm, I'm in my late forties now. It's time for me to start thinking about what life was like when I'm 70. Nobody wants to think about that, but it's like, you know, we have precedent that there's, there's changes you can make now that will keep you very healthy and vibrant and active well into your old age. So maybe that's important to you. Maybe that's like the top of the list important to you, which I think would be amazing. I think that's a really beautiful intrinsic motivation to imagine yourself having, you know, three, four or five more decades of life ahead of you that are awesome. That's really cool. And you also might have a goal to look different and that's fine too. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as your expectations are reasonable. Okay, so you might say, I don't need to be a size eight again. I think if I could just comfortably fit into my size 12s, that would be great. Or you might say, I don't need to have like a tiny 28 inch waist, but if I could just wear my favorite sundress, that would be awesome. Or you might say, I don't need to have a flat stomach, but as long as my midsection maybe wasn't hanging over the top of my waistband, a little spare tire was smaller, that would be, I'd be happy with that. It's so interesting. I've kind of tried to reframe my own perspective on what my body is supposed to look like. For example, I don't have a narrow waist and I never have and I never will just because the way my skeleton is shaped. I don't have the shape. What am I, what am I going to do? What am I supposed to do? Get rib reconstruction surgery? You know, now I'm looking at my aging body and it's like, this is a really bizarre specific example. My chest is growing. My cup size is growing. I don't love that. I don't really want to have big floppy boobs. Not that I do because they were small before. They were always small. And by the way, I hated them. They were too small. <laughs> now it's like, oh, now they're kind of like too big. Ridiculous, right? Like, what are we doing here? At what point are we going to be all right with this, first of all? So like, th this is ultimately the spirit behind this conversation. At what point will you actually be happy? And is that a reasonable end point? And if it's not reasonable, how can you adjust the way you think and feel about your body so that your end goal is reasonable. Now we have, now we have an end point. We have a goal to reach for. Now we can make the moves to get you there. I can't get you to your 38 year old body. I can't, I can't get you to the body of 10, 15, 20 years ago before, before you became midlife. I, it's just not reasonable. You're not that person anymore. You don't have that body anymore. You have a different body now. In the current body that you have, how can you feel comfortable, beautiful, confident, comfortable? What is that? It's going to have to be an adjustment. I know it's not easy. It is a grieving of sorts to consider, oh, I, I will never have that body again. Literally a grieving of sorts. And I just want to hold that space for you. So like when you go through this thought experiment, what do I want my body to look like? You can start by saying, well, I really want to look the way I looked when I was 25. That'd be amazing. So you can say that. You can say, well, I, I, in my dream, if I had that magic wand, I'd go back in time and have that 25-year-old body and freaking appreciate it. You can start with that and then you'll say, but I'd be happy with, but I'd be happy with. And then you have to actually convince yourself that you would be happy with that. And that takes actually just a lot of patience. And quite frankly, just to close up, that's what I work on with people most often is their patience and reframing their expectations. Because actually the fat loss piece is easy. It's actually kind of easy as long as your expectations are reasonable. If your expectations are unreasonable, then it's going to be hard. You're going to have to go on some crazy crash diet or spend a lot of money on plastic surgery. 
and skin rejuvenation, which you can certainly do if you want. But if you're just looking for fat loss, that's actually easy. Your body knows how to do that. But what's the desired outcome you're looking for? What do you want to look like?